All right, so Cranbrook comes out with a 5-1 to one win. I'm joined now by Andy Weidenbach, the head coach for Cranbrook. Thank you for joining us here on the High School Hockey Report. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. So you guys won 5-1 to one today. What was your guys' effort to get that victory today? You know, I think we got off to a good start. You know, uh, Plymouth took a couple penalties early. We capitalized on the power play, and, uh, you know, they were – trying to play catch up basically the entire game and and I thought uh, after the first period the game kind of evened out but we we definitely got off to a good start. Now you guys are like a quarter of the way done so far so what have you seen from your team so far this season? Well it's been a work in progress uh, you know we don't have the super superstars like some of the kids we had in the past like Andrew Miller and and uh, you know uh, Sam Militech or Patrick Brown but but we've got a good group of kids um, the the, the uh, chemistry on the team is really good, and uh, you know we're, we're continuing to get a little bit better each day. So, you know the the the, uh, the team has actually uh, uh, made made a lot of progress since the first day of the season. Now this is the second year of the MIHL KLA Showcase. So, how special is it for you guys to participate in this? Well, I, I know David Mitchell is was instrumental in getting this off the ground, and and uh, you know the two leagues are uh, have some really good teams. Uh, if you look at the rankings, you know, they're bo both leagues uh, are, are putting out some really good teams and some really good players. And, uh, you know, it's kind of Mitch's idea to get this thing going, and, and, it, and it's been a big success. So uh, kudos to him. In a month, it's going to be your showcase, the MIHL showcase. So talk about your guys' showcase. It's something we started, you know, 18 years ago with 12 teams, and uh, the, it, it, it grew uh, to 42 teams. And it's been a real success for high school hockey. We've, we've gotten uh, lots of scouts there to, uh, to watch our players. The, the support we get from the city of Trenton, we got over 150 volunteers. So it's been a big operation, but uh, it's, been, it's been good. And we got most of the kinks out now. You're deciding to hang it up after this year. So what has it meant to you to be at Cranbrook for the last 26 years? Well, you know, I, I was interviewed recently uh, with, by Marty Budner. And, and one of the things, you know, he asked is, you know, what, what do you think uh, over the last 26 years? And it's it's just some of the things we did. I mean, you can see the banners hanging in the rink. You know, that's that's a visual reminder of the success on the ice. But, you know, we did a lot of things off the ice. Our teams raised tens of thousands of dollars in charity games. Uh, we do community service every year down at either Gleaners or Focus Hope. And, uh, you know, we've done a lot of good things. Uh, started the uh, MIHL Showcase. Uh, we started BHHA Fall League and, and, and a lot of things for the for the greater good of hockey. And I think, you know, I'm most proud of that because it impacts more people than just Cranbrook. All right, so Cranbrook comes out with a 5-1 to win over Plymouth. Thank you very much, Andy, hey, for my joining pleasure. us. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here on the High School Hockey Report. Absolutely my pleasure. And thanks for everything you do for high school hockey.